What's up guys, today's video is going to be about some maintenance on a truck. I've got a Ram 3500, it's a 2022. I'll be doing an oil change and the fuel filter change, front and back fuel filters. Alright guys, for the tools, you'll need a ratchet, a couple extensions, a swiveling adapter. And this is going to be mainly for your fuel filters. For the oil, you'll need a wrench to get the oil filter off. I've got two of these plugs for the oil filter. Whenever I fill up the oil in the new filter, and kind of slide it into place. And for the old one, to get it out of place, kind of cover it up so nothing spills. You'll need a 28 millimeter socket for the fuel filters. I use the Rotella T6 5W40 for my oil. I'll need three gallons of that. I've got the original Mopar oil filter MO285. I've got the original Mopar fuel filters for the rear. Part number 6843 6631AA for the front it's 6815729 AA and that's the front fuel filter you also need a drain pan a shop towel a couple funnels this little hose I use because I have a I have a Fumoto drain valve on my oil pan which requires just opening the valve and it drains out which is very convenient I recommend you guys install one of those on your truck because it really saves on time and some brake parts cleaner just to clean everything up afterwards shop towels I got some shop towels paper towels you need a blanket just so you can lay on the ground and not get dirty or at least not as dirty and I'm gonna use a old dev bottle for the rear fuel filter draining so it doesn't splatter all over the place. I'm gonna open up your oil cap. Forgot to mention gloves if you wanna keep your hands as clean as possible. All right guys, so underneath the truck, here's the oil pan. Here's the valve. It's got a plastic clip that holds everything in place. Just wanna remove that. And you wanna take your hose attach it to the valve and then you just open up the valve and the magic happens while that's draining we're gonna loosen up the oil filter which is underneath the passenger front wheel completely take it off just yet I just loosen it up until majority of the oil drains out while that's draining I'm gonna fill up the new oil filter with a little bit of oil get that ready you want to put a little bit of oil on the gasket itself that way next time whenever you're taking it off it comes off a little easier because it doesn't burn onto the to the block where it screws onto then you take one of these caps and you just lightly screw it on don't do it super hard now let's get the old filter off The other cap screw it on so whenever you're taking it off through the not so big opening nothing spills out just, just like that 
And when you guys take the old filter off, make sure you check that the gasket's in place. You don't want to have two gaskets when you put the new filter on, because then you'll start having leaks. And you want to take your new filter and just slide it back into the place. And take that cap off. And now this is the tricky part where you have to screw it into place. So I might have to put the camera down because it's a bit tricky. But I'll give it a try. I had to put the camera down because I couldn't get it this way. So just tighten it with your hand as much as you can. And then I use the wrench just to give it a couple more turns. Seems like the oil is done draining. Close that up, put the little plastic retainer back, the clip back in place so it holds everything together. I'm gonna set up the front fuel filter for drainage. So right in front of your front differential, you'll see a, a hose over there. And that's your drain for the front fuel filter. So I take a little funnel and I put it right there then I take the old death bottle and I use the hose from that to kind of connect with the funnel good all right guys real quick I'm gonna open the drain valve for the front fuel filter before I start filling up with oil and that's located right there down below the yellow yellow knob just twist it to the left and it opens up Standing on the front tow hooks that are on the bumper guys. It's a little hard to stand on one foot and do this. Okay, so I've always been putting 5W40. But I did notice on the cap says summertime 1030 but I know Rotella doesn't make 1030 so if you guys have any kind of suggestions please comment down below let me know because 540 is a little bit thinner it's really meant for winter time according to this cap but I haven't had any issues been using Rotella even the previous company truck I used to work on always did Rotella the T6 seems like one of the more popular oils for diesel trucks
one time this oil was a little hard to get because it was out of stock everywhere. That's it for the oil change. Put your cap back on. finish the fuel filter swap and then we'll start it up. Alright guys, let's take our tools and open up the fuel filter and get that out. this one I'm just standing on a tire this is super tricky the new gasket onto the canister here make sure it is seated all the way down properly because one time I wasn't seated properly and when I started the truck it started leaking all over the place and don't forget to close your drain valve the yellow knob just twist it to the right and then you want to slide the new filter in place back together. Let me tell you, standing on a tire and doing this is nearly impossible. And that's it for the front fuel filter. Let's move on to the back rear fuel filter is located underneath the bed right in front of the rear differential right there Loosen that up for the fuel to start coming out, draining. Then you want to take your 28 millimeter and just break the cap loose. Take your bigger funnel because that's going to start draining out. Just hold it underneath while you take the cap off. I know 
on here as well, so you gotta break it loose. Kind of dirty. The rear filter is always darker than the front. I'm assuming that's because it's the one that's closer to the fuel tank. Take your new filter, take the old O-ring off. filter on, screw the drain plug back in, and it's good to go back in. Filters are done, everything's replaced, oil's changed, oil filters replaced. Now you just want to drain the old oil into the into the bottles that the new one was in and throw that away. And then we'll get everything primed and started. Like to drain it in these bottles that the new one came out from and kind of glance to see how much I fill each one up to see if I'm losing any oil in between oil changes. Seems like every time I do an oil change, I'm about one or two quarts less than what goes in. So I don't know if it's just normal process of burning oil in between oil changes or what the deal is. And it's been like that since the truck's been brand new. Even the 2020 truck that I used to drive was the same exact way. can make three complete gallons that'll be a miracle now well, seems like it's about a quart short and I don't know if it's because I'm using the 5w40 which is a little bit of thinner weight Oil cap says to use 1030 in a summer, so I don't know if it's burning oil because of that. If this is considered normal, if you guys know, please comment down below. I'd like to know. Hey guys, now you just want to prime your fuel filters. So you get some fuel back in the system. So you want to just turn your key or the push button start to the on position. I like to do it at least five times. 
turn it on and turn it off back to the on position start it you're gonna want to reset your fuel life and oil life so to reset the fuel life I can't remember if it has to be the truck has to be running or just an on position let's try it with the running so you want to get to the fuel life gauge and then you want to hold your right arrow to reset it just hold it down until it resets and then confirm yes with the up arrow and then the right arrow to confirm all right that's reset and I believe it's the oil life the truck has to be in the on position to reset but let's try it with the trip running just to be sure So we're on the oil life. I'm going to hold the right arrow. Yeah, the truck has to be off and the on position. All right, so we're going to shut it off. Put it in the on position. Get back to the oil life. And press the right arrow and just hold it down. life is reset to 100 that's it your oil service and your fuel filter service are complete thank you for watching